now, you know, where they're they're actively kind of drafting athletes, guys who have grown up since they were kids who are athletes. When did that kind of switch happen in the sport? When I was getting out of it, I quit changing tires. I think it was in 2005 or six. I stopped changing tires and it was really ramping up then where they didn't want to use shop guys as much as um, athletes. They wanted, they wanted somebody to work out all day and do pit stops five days a week and not work in the shop. And uh, once the other teams, I'm not saying it was just, we didn't, Hendrick doesn't, he, it didn't start with Hendrick with athletes. Other teams are doing it also. But once they seen the potential, having, having athletes, it really ramped up. Um, and now we have, uh, I think it's probably two or three times a year we have tryouts. So your, your job's not guaranteed for the whole entire year. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll seek athletes all year long. And if they can find somebody, you'll either get moved to one of the other teams or possibly get bumped out. But it doesn't, it doesn't happen as much anymore because there's so many athletes, um, and they're so good that, um, they're going to pay the money to have somebody, you know, from a football team or something like that, that can outdo any other guy in a pit crew. Right. Right. I remember that just being the biggest shock the first time I, you know, it's like, it, this looks like a college you know, facility for, there's a full gym here. There's a football field. There's a track like crazy. Yeah. And it, it's hard because so when we'll back up a little bit. When I got in, into change of tires, I would, I would be hanging bodies at the same time. And eventually I got moved to a shop and I was working in the shop because it was harder for me to, to be on that, on a specific team, but not be in the shop during the day. So they moved me up uh, to the five, the five team, Terry LeBron race drive.